Of all the mysteries in the world, perhaps one of the most profound is this one I carry inside my head. How do I think? How do I remember? How am I me? We weren't sure when we started making the encounter that we'd have headphones or, or a binaural microphone. We started with the story and, and working out ways to tell it. And a lot of the sort of conventional ways of, of telling stories theatrically just didn't work. When a story is set in a world that is so far away from the Western contemporary world, how do you create that in the minds of the audience with the most impact? I think once the themes of intimate storytelling, solitude, being lost, really started to rise to the forefront of what the piece would be about, I think it became really clear that it was a show that Simon should do alone. It gives you the freedom to make an imaginative landscape that's your own. So your visual landscape of the jungle is something that's inside your consciousness. It's more interesting to conjure that landscape up in your head. I have my daughter in the show. She is an emerging consciousness. And in a way, one of the things she does is she asks the most innocent questions but they're also, like children do, some of the most profound. Do you know what I'm thinking inside my head, she once asked me. That is another thing that the encounter does. It's not just the story of an encounter between one man and other people. It's not just the story of an encounter between an actor and an audience. It's also about an encounter with yourself. <laughs>